So the process of scaling fish is really not that difficult. I like to use a little bit of a smaller knife. You know, it's uh, fairly firm. Uh, it's about a five inch blade. So what you want to do is you're always going to be going against uh, the gills or against the grain, uh, essentially. Fried walleye, you know, with the skin on is actually so delicious. So you can do this outside, you know, maybe uh, you might make so much of a mess in your kitchen, but what I do is I start off and I, I pinch, you know, where the gills are right here. Just be careful of the gill plate so you don't cut yourself. And all I'm going to do is start at the tail and go towards the head. There's a reason why I do uh, the scaling first and then gut it because once all the... Um, if all the guts and the entrails are on the inside, it has a better structure uh, to hold um, uh, the fish in place and the meat essentially. And, uh, and then it's easier to get off the scales. So let's give it a try here. So under some running water, just want to get it started. And so again, it might make a little bit of a mess, but the end result is so worth it. So. I'm using the, the first inch of my knife because it gives me lots of control and so it's almost at a 90 degree angle. Oh, the scales are flying now. So that's how you do the, the tail. And then once I get up to the, the belly, it's actually, it's all edible as well. Same thing. You know, rinse it off in between. You, know, you can even put it right into the sink and uh, do it that way so you don't get the scales all over the place. And then once you get up to, uh, up over here, sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll move the fin out of the way. And the 90 degree is, is the absolute key. Just be careful, you don't want to cut yourself. And once you've gone over the entire fish, Rinse it really well, and then feel with your hands, and then go against the, the grain to see whether you've gotten all the scales. And you try your best to get everything off, and then do that basically right up into the, uh, the head here, because we're going to be eating all of this, and you don't want to have those scales. So I'm going to finish this off, and then we'll go to the next step. So what we're going to do next is we're going to gut it, or we're going to clean out all the entrails and everything. So what you're going to do is... so. You're going to make an incision here and just sort of right down to the, the tail, about an inch from the tail. And then I turn my knife around, put my hand on top, and just going to work it all the way up, basically, until the, the bottom here, uh, the fins. And just make an incision. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull all the guts. You want to make sure that you've got off all of the scales as well because it's going to make it just taste that much better. We're going to rinse it off, but the key to this one here is, uh, is really scoring the flush. So for this size of the fish, I'm going to go one, two, three, four cuts. And it's actually going to have the oil uh, go into the flesh uh, much faster than if it was a uh, whole. So just on an angle and pretty much right down until or it hits the, uh, the vertebrae, the backbone. But I don't cut all the way through on the belly part here because then that will sort of um, open it up and uh, it will sort of have a flap and then essentially it will overcook. Same thing on this side. Right to there. So. That's it. So all we're going to do here is we're going to rinse this and then we're going to pat it dry and then it'll be ready to cook. So there you go. That's essentially all you have to do to get the, the fish ready for frying. But I tell you the most important tip that I can give you that a lot of people will make the mistake of is you can season it, you can get it all ready to go, but uh, do not put the fish you know, into the flour until your oil is all ready to go. It gets gluey and sticky. You want a really nice sort of a, a dry coating on there so it doesn't form the clumps. So that's all you have to do. And I'm going to towel it off really good as well. And we're going to get it ready for the next shot.